we all have our, our horror stories, our sad stories. No. I remember holding uh, a husband uh, who wasn't allowed in his wife's room, and he just cried in my arms and, and, and said, I haven't been away from her for 46 years. And she passed away with him, with him looking into her room through glass. Um, that's going to stick with me for a really long time. Uh, there's nothing more than we want for a patient to pass peacefully and with their loved ones surrounded with them. And unfortunately, we can't have it happen right now. Uh, so the nurses have been stepping in as um, loved ones, um, hand holders, counselors, um, nurses. I mean, we're, we're doing everything, everything we possibly can to go above and beyond to make sure that the last moments of people's lives are uh, peaceful and dignified. You know, a lot of us are now on antidepressants. Um, a lot of us are going to counseling. Um, a lot of us are suffering with what looks like PTSD now. Um, unfortunately, nobody can get diagnosed with PTSD because we're not through the trauma yet. We're still in it. Once I leave the hospital, um, it's, an, it's a whole new struggle. Unfortunately, this disease has become so incredibly politicized uh, that people are fighting um, when, when they honestly don't know what goes on within these four walls. They don't know the trauma that's happening within these four walls. Um, and I wish for healthcare workers' sake, for everybody's sake, to be honest with you, that we could all just be just a little bit more compassionate with each other. Um, you may not want to wear the mask, but it could be helping the man who had a renal transplant not be in the ICU. You may not want to get your vaccine, and it might be one less bed that we have to deal with later. You know, masks work or don't work. I mean, obviously, I believe that they work, but what's the harm in putting one on? Just put one on, save, some, save your neighbor. Hi.